Hello and welcome to Snipply. Today I want to talk about how you can use Snipply to manage different clients' profiles, different client brands, and create Snipply links on behalf of your clients, and also how to invite and manage your team members using permission settings so you can give certain team members access to certain brand profiles and restrict them to other brand profiles. So the first thing I want to talk about is the, the client part, how you can use Snipply to not only create Snipply links for your own brand, but also on behalf of clients. So the first thing we want to do is on the left hand side, you'll see there is a page for brand profiles. Uh, and if you are intending to manage a, a client profile, the first thing you want to do is to create a brand profile for your clients. So under manage uh, brand profiles, you'll see a list of all of your profiles and what you want to do is to add a new brand. I'm just going to call this Happy Clients. Um, and I'm going to upload a logo for my client here. I'm just going to use a happy face. Of course, you'd be uploading um, your client's logos. Or if you're representing uh, a client's personal brand, perhaps it's a photograph of them. Uh, and also their homepage. So I'm just going to use example.com for the sake of this demo. Uh, and so if you recall what a Snipply links look like, uh, the call to action appears on the page along with the brand profile, the name, and clicking on the name goes to the home page. This is what we're setting up. We're setting up a client's brand profile so we can create Snipply links using their brand. And so uh, once you save, of course, you can start creating call to actions as I talked about in some of our other videos. You can set up call to actions for your client brands. Uh, you can create Snipply links and add their call to action to pages. And so if you're an agency, it's a really great way for you to be able to uh, add call to actions to the links that you're sharing on behalf of your clients. And the second thing I want to talk about is, of course, the team members. So uh, we just covered how you can create client brands and how you can set up call to actions for them. And then the second part of collaboration, of course, is team. So under accounts team in the navigation, you'll get a list of all of your team members. And so this includes your uh, current team members and also pending invitations. Uh, and what we want to do is, let's say you have a colleague at the bottom of the page here, there's an invite to team section. All you have to do is enter their email address. So I'm just going to call this coworker at snip.ly. I'm going to click invite to team. And they're actually uh, going to show up now in my, you'll see here, coworker at snip.ly. They're going to show up in my pending invitation. And uh, there is a role section that allows you to select different roles for the team. And this is very important. An admin is going to have access to not only your account, but also your account settings, including billing and um, you know, password changing. And so we don't want that for a client. So we're going to set them to client permission, which is going to give them access to just the operational level, being able to set up call to actions and create snippy links, but they won't have access to account settings like billing and passwords. Uh, the second thing that's important is these checkboxes you see here, which is going to determine which brand that my coworker is going to have access to. So it doesn't have a call. It doesn't have to be a colleague. You can send an invitation to your client as well if you want to give them access to your Snipply accounts. Uh, so we created this brand earlier called Happy Clients. Um, let's say I only want to give coworker at Snip.ly access to Happy Client. I want to uncheck the other brands that I don't want him to have access to. So you'll see a lot of success notifications here for every time you uncheck that. And so when coworker at snip.ly receives the email, sets up their Snipply account, they will only have access to the happy client brand profile. And because their role is currently a client, they will not have access to my passwords or billing information. Uh, and so that's how you manage your team. And so this kind of permission setting stuff is really great if you're bringing on, say, uh, an, a marketing intern and you don't want to give them access to everything that you've been working on and all of your high profile clients. And maybe you want to just set them up with one or two brands. Uh, also great if you're running an agency managing many different brands and you have account managers that are uh, responsible for certain clients, then you want to give your account managers specific access to the specific brand profiles for the clients that they manage. Uh, so to sum it up, you have brand profiles under manage brand profiles. That's going to allow you to create different client brands to be able to set up call to action and create Snipply links on behalf of your clients. But also in the accounts team section, you'll have the ability to give access to people to certain brand profiles and also for admin and client roles as well. Uh, that's it for today. And in other videos, I'll go much deeper into how you can actually set up call to action, how you can customize the call to action so it really reflects the brand of your clients and much more. Thank you for watching.